Do you know what this was about? Well, I'll tell you. It wasn't about law or justice, the court or the United States Senate. It wasn't even about Clarence Thomas or Anita Hill. It was about politics, pure and simple, because that's what the process has become all about. Which party runs the best campaign for its candidate? Which party taps that special chord in America? Which party knows how to use words, slogans, or sneers in order to get their side across? The Thomas hearings didn't do a single thing to get you to the point where you'd know what kind of a judge the man was going to make. It was just an exercise in sloganeering. Look at what you saw. Think about what you heard. Grown men, supposedly of stature, unable to ask simple questions. People who should have been concentrating on the country, instead staring into a camera, posing, wondering all the while, how am I doing? How's this playing back home? Which way should I vote? What do the overnight polls indicate? We don't need the Senate. We don't need any of these fakers who show such little respect for people. All we need to do business in Washington is a 900 line installed right into the Capitol switchboard. That way we could vote all day on every issue. Most calls win. Because that's what it's come down to. And the hearings were perfect symbolism for the country. They were laced with hot air, excuses, people running from responsibility, leaking things instead of standing up in the light, with self-important frauds, with scratches sore issues like race, affirmative action, and quotas, with sex and politics and the utter foolishness of elected people playing the clown. Oh, it was perfect. Because George Bush, the Senate, nearly everyone involved with such a meaningless issue as who's going to sit on the Supreme Court over the next four decades, none of them went out and looked for the best, the smartest, the most knowledgeable, most incisive, most sensitive person for the job. Well, they only wanted to satisfy the politics of the moment, and they did. They went out and grabbed a totally mediocre man for what is becoming a thoroughly mediocre country.